guys, welcome back to another vlog. And uh, today's is a little different. We are working on my RV, 78 GMC Diplomat motorhome. And uh, replacing these junky tail lights, mainly because the one on the passenger side got stepped on and broken. I'm gonna replace them with these newer, uh, cleaner looking ones. Also the lenses on this old one here are faded. Uh, I wanna start off by apologizing about the wind noise. I'm accommodating the best I can by opening the doors to my truck, blocking the wind, and also by using an external microphone. Uh, that's, you know, pretty much right up close to my mouth. So, I guess to start off, what we need to do is we need to remove the old one. And for that, on my RV, I need a couple of different screwdrivers for that. And does not look like I have my Phillips, so I'll be right back with my Phillips screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, got my Phillips screwdriver, and I'm going to be standing over here hoping that the uh, RV blocks most of the wind on me. Uh, this is the microphone I'm using. It's actually just my uh, wireless, or my uh, hands-free headset. So I'm going to start by removing the two screws that hold the old lens on. Just like that. Now, this tail light is a little different than the one I'm replacing it with, as it's got a separate bulb here for the uh, license plate light. Whereas the one I'm using, the license plate light just comes from the tail light bulb with this clear lens. So, I doubt I'll be able to, to use my uh, LED turn tail light and uh, you know what before I get all to this I should probably show you a before of how this is right now so I'm gonna screw this lens back on um, I'll show you the the turn tail and whatnot but I will not be able to show you the backup lamp because I'm sitting in my driveway which is slanted and I don't want the RV to roll into the street. I also need to replace this because these two little screws are actually kind of stripped out. There. So let's go ahead and turn on the tail lights and uh, throw on the hazards. Pull this on. I'll also turn on my backup camera. Throw on the hazards. Now it's not even working. Well, what the heck? This one's stripped right out. There. That's another reason. These aren't uh, working all the greatest. As in, they kind of cut out every now and then. Which, for an RV, or really any vehicle traveling, that's the last thing you want is your taillights to cut out on you. All right, so this is the before, and as you can see down under here is a white tail light bulb, whereas this one, which has already been replaced, and they don't quite match over. The holes for the lights are here or on the original one. They're right in the middle, so fortunately I've got this nastiness but I might just take some white paint or some tan paint and paint that up a little bit I don't know yet but as you can look under here yeah now the RV store didn't have you know one of these without the license plate tabs so both of them are getting license plate tabs which not the end of the world you know if I find that my spare tire blocks my license plate I can always Move the license plate to the other side then. Alright, open up my wind dam again. <laughs> See if that actually helps or not. 
we'll see. All right. I guess I gotta go turn off my lights. Uh, again, I apologize for all this wind noise. But it'd be 10 times worse if I didn't have the microphone on. There, this door. And I don't feel like waiting till a, uh, a calm day to do this. I would like to get this replaced ASAP. All right. So, as we were before, take off the lens cover. I'm gonna put all my old parts in because I do have to reuse it. And then I need a square screwdriver. Woo! Pull out all the bulbs. Now these have been all dielectric greased so that they wouldn't corrode in. Just grab this and there we go, it just pulls right off. And as you can clearly see, I've got multiple wires here. This is my backup lamps. This is my tail. And this red one is my stop turn. So I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm just leaving these crimp connectors that are on here. They'll do just fine. There, cut those. And this guy is garbage. Not that you really saw me throw that off screen, but <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to take my new lens, or new housing, and I'm going to strip off, now these come pre-stripped, pull off these bits, there, and realign these, the bulbs go in. Put the bulbs in so that they don't pop out of place as I install this. Uh, this one goes like this, I think. Maybe not. Oh, it goes this. Oh, that's the back of black. Here we go. This one goes in here. Back up lamp goes in here. Now the one difference between these trailer RV housings and the original ones is the original ones is self-grounded through here. This, These replacement ones have two ground wires, one for the backup, one for the tail stop. Now what I found out is I can take a couple of screws, drive them right through here and here, and this will ground out this through the sheet metal, which is basically how they were grounded up from factory anyways is through the sheet metal. So take our wire strippers. Now like I said this is backup lamp here. Strip back about a half an inch. Uh, I need my wire snippers again because this has two sets of wires. I am going to snip one of them. That is for the tail lights. Strip off about a half inch on this one, and a half inch on this guy. There we go. And now, oh, where's my heat shrink? I gotta go grab my heat shrink. Bear the noise again. The wind. Oh, there it is. It fell. Okay. So here's my heat shrink tubing that had fallen. back up and I'm basically just going to cut this into three even ish chunks one two three there I got three close enough to even tips so Ah, this wind is killing me. I'm going to take the heat shrink and I'm going to slide it onto the green wire. These are the uh, tail lights. 
This is the backup or the uh, brake light. And this red one is the backup lamp. There we go. Now I just need to solder them. So back up, back up. This guy. This guy? Yeah, this guy. Yes. Brain fart moment right now. So I'm going to twist these together and solder them up. Uh, doing my standard linesman splice for soldering. There'll be a link to that in the uh, description on how to properly solder wires, along with probably an annotation at the end of the video to a soldering playlist. So I'm not going to be really in detail on this one. All right, so now I just need to screw this in. This is where our old hardware comes in handy because we don't get new hardware with the kit. So take my screwdriver, make sure this is somewhat level. Mark where I want this one to go. Now this is just thin sheet metal, so these screws won't pierce through it easily. Huh. Let's try these other screws. There, get one started. Maybe that screw is just dull, being as old as it is. Yeah, yeah, it's got no tip on it, really. Son of a gun. 
So I'm gonna go turn on the lights so you guys can see what I'm talking about, about that ground screw. So right now, as you can see, Let me zoom in a little See, it is flashing, but hardly. That's because it's getting a slight signal. It's actually flashing the, uh, the tail light, or the, yeah, the tail light one. As soon as I start screwing this in and create or connect a contact with the sheet metal, you can see how drastically that changes. have to get this in through that wood there too which is in behind which I think it just did now there we go now it's working normal screw the uh, backup lamp ground into place now this one's really not gonna make a difference because it's not in reverse yet As soon as I do put it in reverse, you'll see the difference. There. So, all that's left to do is uh, actually I'm gonna take out this bulb, and I want to put my red LED in just for the sake of it. I believe it is this way. There's the red LED, and maybe zoom out. There's what it would be with the lens cover on. It's just the fact that it's going to show a red light underneath on the license plate probably is not legal. So, put this bulb in. Uh, I think it goes this way. Yes, it does. And this lens cover literally just snaps into place via a couple of spring tabs, on, one on each side. Honestly, it's a bit of a cheaper quality light than I'd prefer, but that's it. Got both working tail lights. All that's left is my license plate. So that's it. Tail lights have been changed. And actually, I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to move it back over to here. I'll be okay with the wires being a little bit crooked. It's going to be sealed off. I just don't want it to look absolutely stupid. But, anyways, if you all enjoyed this video, I ask you to give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. We'll be probably right up there. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so quick little ending here. Didn't want to leave it off without showing the backup lamps on as well, which they absolutely suck for backup lamps. But they're mostly there for letting people know that I'm backing up. I'm gonna grab another bolt for the license plate. But uh, all in all, I'm happy with it. I do want to replace these with some LEDs, if I can find some good enough LEDs. But as you can see, those are decently bright enough. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.